Welcome to another episode of JK Michael's Knowledge Series. Today, we'll be talking about business analysis. Our focus will be on the requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area, also known as the RADD. The RADD knowledge area is one of the six knowledge areas in the business analysis body of knowledge. The requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area describes the task that the business analyst performs to structure and organize requirements discovered during elicitation activities. It also involves specifying and modeling requirements and designs, validating and verifying information, identifying solution options that meet the business needs, and estimating the potential value that could be realized for each solution option. This knowledge area considers all the tasks we perform to move from the initial conception and exploration of needs to transforming these needs into a specific recommended solution. Both requirements and designs are important tools used by business analysts to define and guide change. The main difference between requirements and designs is in how they are used and by whom. One person's designs may be another person's requirements. Requirements and designs may be either high level or very detailed based on what is appropriate to those consuming the information. The business analyst's role in modeling needs, requirements, designs and solutions is instrumental in constructing a thorough analysis and communicating with other stakeholders. The form, level of details and what is being modeled are all dependent on the context, the audience, and the purpose. Business analysts analyze the potential value of both requirements and designs. In collaboration with subject matter experts, business analysts define solution options that can be evaluated to recommend the best solution option that meets the need and delivers the most value. The requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area includes the following tasks. Number one, specify and model requirements. This describes a set of requirements or designs in details using analytic techniques. Generally Generally speaking, stakeholder groups may require that requirements are represented in varying formats depending on the level of the stakeholders, whether they require the information in the abstract or the concrete forms, and the level of details required, and of course, the formality approach used. This would require that the business analyst selects a communication mode that is most appropriate for each stakeholder to enhance understanding of the stakeholders' requirements and designs. These communication modes might be in the form of matrices, text, or diagrams. Number two, verify requirements. Verify requirements ensures that a set of requirements or designs have been developed in enough detail to be usable by a particular stakeholder and is internally consistent and is of high quality. Number three, validate requirements. Validate requirements ensures that a set of requirements or designs deliver business value and supports the organization's goals and objectives. In this situation, the business analyst is to ensure that the stakeholder requirements, solution requirements, and transition requirements are all aligned with the business requirements in the delivery of value to all stakeholders and the business. Number four, define requirements architecture. Define requirements architecture structures all requirements and designs so that they support the overall business purpose for a change and that the work effectively has a cohesive whole. Number five, define solution option. Define solution option identifies, explores, and describes the different possible ways of meeting the need. Number five, analyze potential value and recommend solution. This task assesses the business value associated with the potential solution and compares the different options including trade-offs to be able to identify and recommend the solution option that delivers the greatest value. To summarize, the requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area helps the business analyst to thoroughly analyze, understand, and communicate requirements and designs to the various stakeholders. The business analyst achieves this by describing a requirement in understandable formats such as text, matrices, diagrams, and other required models. The business analyst also considers the form, level of detail, and how the model should be presented depending on the context, audience, and the purpose of that phase of the work. Now it's time for my questions. What part of the requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area interests you the most as a business analyst? For me, I tend to be fascinated and excited about specifying and modeling requirements. I chalk it down to my visual bias ask for learning but i prefer to communicate with models and charts and all of that but what works best for you indicate in the comment section of this video i will look through it and might offer feedback if required for more information concerning business analysis and requirements analysis and design definition knowledge area in specific you want to consult our website www.jkmichaelspm.com thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button right at the bottom of this video
video. See you in the next video.